issues and winning the war on terror. Well, it's only six days until Election Day, and the highest political race in Texas below the presidency has the incumbent trying to hold on to a double-digit lead. U.S. Senator John Cornyn has run a tough re-election campaign against his Democrat challenger, Rick Noriega. News Channel 25's Kevin Davis has been on the campaign trail with both candidates. He joins us live from the Colleen Newsroom with our preview tonight. Kevin? And the current polls show that John Cornyn is leading by 14 to 15 to points. Noriega had closed that gap to seven points in September and feels that he is confident that he will pull out the win come election day. U.S. Senator John Cornyn isn't expecting to get reelected without a lot of hard work. Anytime you talk to somebody who holds office says they're not worried about their, the election, they're probably not telling you the truth. Uh, I'm not overly concerned because we've done a lot of work over the last two years of getting ready. Visiting with the McLennan County Republican Women's Association in Waco, Cornyn said he is confident the economy will rebound, leaving Texans stronger and better. Some of the chicken little uh, comments that you hear about the sky falling, this is unprecedented, I mean it really over, overblown. Uh, the fact of the matter is we've been through uh, tough times before. Uh, undoubtedly we're going to be in a recession. But uh, the question is how long it lasts and how deep is it. But Rick Noriega, who joined the U.S. Army in the wake of the Iranian hostage crisis, believes that Cornyn was part of the problem. I think what Mr. Cornyn needs to explain is how he could sit on the budget committee while this nation became the greatest debtor nation in the history of any country in the free world. The two candidates clash on a host of other issues, including when to bring the troops home. On national security, uh, he has uh, been somebody who's advocated a political timetable for bringing our troops back home from Iraq. I think we all agree we want to bring those troops back home as soon as we can, but I think we ought to bring them back on victory, leaving behind a stable Iraq able to govern and defend itself. And I've said we needed to remove our soldiers as quickly and as safely as possible. Uh, we shouldn't continue to uh, perpetuate a failed foreign policy. But when everything is said and done and the votes are cast, each candidate believes they alone have what it takes to represent Texans in Washington. Well, I think I reflect the values of our state, which is a conservative state, uh, and uh, regardless of whether people consider themselves Republicans, Democrats, and independent or independent in Texas, uh, relative to Washington, uh, it's pretty conservative. Are you better off today than you were six years ago? Or can you afford six more years of what we've been through? And uh, wouldn't you prefer someone who's uh, had a history and record of standing up and fighting for Texas families versus someone that has consistently voted for special interest for Washington, D.C. Uh, at a time when uh, uh, Texas families uh, need leadership? Now, you can find out more about those candidates by logging on to our website at kxxv.com. In Colleen, Kevin Davis, News Channel 25.